Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're right where we were in the last battle, but just to move it forward by 10 days. Welcome back to the Soka River in western Slovenia for the fourth battle by Sanzo between November 10th and December 2nd, 1915. This is basically the second part of the third Isanzo battle, utilizing the same forces and commanders from the third battle by Sanzo. Leading the Italians was still our underwhelming chief of staff, Luigi Cadorna, who still had not learned his lessons with machine guns. Under him was General Pietro Frugani and Prince Emmanuel Filiberto di Savoia, commander of the Third Army itself. Under the command of all three of these men were 338 battalions of damaged troops, and with the losses suffered just 10 days before, they were down to approximately 340,000 men with the remnants of cavalry and artillery from the Third Battle. Defending were the same four commanders that are all returning to the series. The overall commander was our returning top Austrian, Archduke Friedrich Duke of Tescan, followed by Franz Xaver Joseph Conrad von Hotzendorf, Archduke Eugene Ferdinand Pius Bernhard Felix Maria of Austria Tescan, and last but never least was the line of Isonzo, Svetozar Borovic von Bonja Niborjevic. Under command of these men were the surviving soldiers, been reduced to approximately 180,000 men from the original 220,000. The winner today is a surprise victory by the Italian army. The battle that started on November 10th was once again a push by the Italians to cross the whole plateau. The change in their attack came in the concentration of Italian forces sent to Gorizia. The Italian second army pushed hard and with more forces this time, surprising everyone by not just capturing Gorizia, but also the hilly area around Oslavia and San Floriano del Caulio. Meanwhile, the Italian Third Army was tasked with taking the remaining stretch of plateau and was unsuccessful with heavy losses. And they continued this until the end of November when Tolman, a targeted bridge crossing, ended up being heavily bombed by both sides, rendered useless. In the beginning of December, though, the cost of lives and ammunition had the effect of reducing the fighting to small-scale skirmishes instead of massive attacks. Both sides realized this would just continue unabated and determined to have a temporary truce hopefully stopping the fighting for Christmas and New Year's holiday. The reason for the Italian victory lies just in the fact that they captured the town and hills they initially wanted. Meanwhile, the Austro-Hungarian commanders were stressed by the losses of men and asked their allies, the Imperial German Empire, for reinforcements. No one was sure if Germany would help directly because they were not officially at war with Italy yet. However, they requested anyways and would receive a gift in reinforcements during the 11th Battle of Isonzo. You heard that right. There's at least 11 battles, meaning we'll have fun of going over at least 7 more battles for this little campaign. The overall casualties for the Italians were 49,500, this included at least 7,500 dead. The Austro-Hungarians paid heavily as well, with 32,100 or more casualties, including at least 4,000 dead. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.